Early this morning, Colleen PD officers responded to a domestic violence call between brothers. Fox 44's Renako G visited the scene to learn more about how this altercation ended in a deadly officer-involved shooting. That street is, is a bad street. Thomas lives in the neighborhood and heard the gunshots. I went to the store and on the way back from the store, I seen the police riding up and down this street, you know, and uh, they don't they don't do that unless they're looking for somebody. But then when I got home, I heard two gunshots. He quickly ran inside and waited until he felt safe. Around 539 this morning, Colleen PD officers received a call about a domestic dispute off of Southside Street in Colleen. On the scene, officers found a victim lying on the street with a stab wound and another man still armed with the knife standing over him. One of the responding officers discharged his weapon several times, started striking the armed male with the knife. The other officer did not discharge the duty weapon. Officers immediately began to administer first aid while waiting for EMS to arrive. Both males were transported to Baylor Scott and White in Temple. It was right here in the middle of the street where the officer discharged his weapon. The 38 year old man holding the knife died of a gunshot wound to his upper torso and his 36 year old brother is in critical condition. The officer who fired the shots is a five year veteran who is now on administrative leave. The Colleen Police Department and Texas Rangers spent Friday morning investigating what led to this domestic dispute. No names at this time will be released. Thomas hopes to see law enforcement do more crime prevention in the community. The response is too late. You know, if you call the police right now, it's going to take an hour or 45 minutes to get here. I, you know, it could be a life threatening situation or somebody could be shooting at me. But by the time they get here, they've done what they had to do. Neighbors in the community hope to build better relations with the Colleen Police Department so crimes like this don't happen in the future. In Colleen, Renaco G, Fox 44 News.